Hey YouTube, Carla here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to do my on-feet review of the Yeezy 700 Analog. Let's go! Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are going to announce the mechanics of our Realme 3 smartphone giveaway very soon. So make sure that you guys are subscribed, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, and make sure that you hit the notification bell down below. Before we get to our unboxing of the Yeezy 700 Analog, I just want to do some tech unboxing for you guys before we get to the main event. So consider this something to warm you up, to whet your appetite before the main course. So first up, we have the Fotix M180 LED light which also functions as a power bank. So this sleek device actually doubles as a power bank. So if you are like a food Instagrammer or if you just love doing Instagram and you need like a power bank, you might want to pick this one up because it also doubles as an LED light. So all you have to do is to press this baby over here and it should turn on and it actually has an LED display at the back which actually shows the details, the battery and all of the different stuff that you need to know about it. Again guys, this is, isn't only just like an LED light, it also functions as a mini power bank with 4,000 milliampers for your smartphone. Good for maybe 50-60% depending on the phone that you are packing. Speaking of power banks, we also have the Chargy Limited ID holder. So to those who actually go to offices every day, you probably have like a lanyard with your ID that you wear uh, around your neck. This one is the ID holder. But the special thing about this bad boy is that it doesn't just function as an ID holder but it also functions as, you guessed it, a power bank. So you can actually hang this around your neck and you can have your ID in it when you are, you know, walking around. So it can function as an emergency power battery for you in case you left your cable or you're just, you know, you just ran out of juice and you need to power up your devices. This one has 40, 4, 000, not 40, 4,000 milliampers that you can have around your neck. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good thing, having 4,000 milliampers of battery around your neck but <laughs> but yeah you guys you guys get the idea so this one if you want to check it out i think it's available over at shopee or lazada lastly this is already unboxed but i want to show it to you guys anyway i'm not sure if you pronounce it lacy or lacy but this is their rugged rugged one terabyte usb-c power bank so this cable that you guys see here is already usb-c so it instantly easily connects to my macbook allowing me to transfer most of my files to and from my camera to this particular device to the macbook this one i bought for a little over 5,000 pesos here in green hills in Mall. great thing about this apart from the terabit storage is really that it is rugged so you have that rubber protection all over it so the way i you know stuff my you know gear inside my bag this is actually pretty handy and that's the reason why i bought this one over the more cheaper and more affordable options but don't have the rugged protection that i'm looking for plus the USB-C is a nice bonus. With that out of the way, we get to the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yeezy 700 Analog. And this is the latest Yeezy to come out of Adidas and Kanye West. And it actually sat a while here in the Philippines on the online store. Now, usually when a Yeezy 700 or any Yeezy for the matter gets sold here locally, the online store probably will have stocks for just maybe less than half an hour. If it's a super high pair, for example, like the 350 Hyperspace or the Zebra Restock or even like what else, like the creams, they sell out really fast in just a few minutes or maybe even in less than a minute. This particular pair probably rivals the Move <laughs> in terms of desirability when it first hit shelves. The Move I was able to buy like three, four days after sitting on another shelf in a far away Adidas store here in the Philippines. This one sat on shelves again over at the online store of Adidas. The question is why? And that's what I'll try to answer in this review, the pros and cons of the Adidas CZ700 analog. We'll start with the cons because they're pretty obvious. It is bland. It is a white shoe. It is a simple looking white Yeezy 700. Fine, Carlo, there are different shades of white all over. It's not entirely all white. But the fact of the matter is, if you look at it, 
it just looks like a typical white sneaker. Now granted, some people will gravitate towards an all-white clean look, an all-white fresh pair, and that I think is the ultimate point of why they released this in the first place. This shoe is not for everyone. This sneaker is not for you if you don't like it. Because the reality is there are people who prefer clean shoes, clean looking, pristine, all white sneakers. I know people who collect just white shoes, clean white shoes without lines, without crazy loud accents. They love the timeless, iconic, like clean fresh look that this has and that's the, probably the reason the, that's the, probably the market that the Yeezy 700 analog is going after so if you are turned off you find it boring if you find find it too plain guess what it's okay there are a lot more Yeezys coming a lot more 350s a lot more 700s a lot more 700 v2s just pick your poison pick the one that appeals to you the most you don't really have to buy it if you're not going to wear it you don't really have to buy it if you don't like it but hey if you are one of those who are looking for a nice all white clean timeless chunky sneaker from yeezy kanye west adidas guys this one is for you how is this bad boy on feet now the reality is the yeezy 700 really isn't the most comfortable sneaker <laughs> that's like the secret that's like the unspoken thing about this particular shoe i mean it's not as comfortable as the 350 boost despite it having boost because at the end of the day you have that thick amount of rubber outsole in between the boost material and your feet so that adds a layer of firmness and solidness if there is such a word beneath your feet which doesn't give you that amount of cushioning and bounce that you usually get if it is pure boost like what you get with like the ultra boost or a super thin layer like what you get with the easy 350 boost v2 so it is not the most comfortable sneaker to have but however at the end of the day it's still considerably a light dad shoe a light sneaker so it won't give you an instant type of fatigue for example compared to other chunky dad shoes out in the market which are a little bit heavier now when it comes to sizing i would recommend that you go at least i mean at least a half size up why because this particular tongue has an elastic band pulling it down so if you have wide feet even maybe even if you have like normal size feet it will be a bit too snug for you if you go true to size so i would really recommend especially if you have big feet wide feet like me to go at least half a size up and if you have really wide feet you might even want to consider going a full size up again guys this is different from the first tz 700 wave runners those did not have the elastic band pulling the tongue down so it's very different that one was a free tongue this one is a lock tongue I don't know if those are even real words in sneaker language, but I'll call them that anyway. So again, that's what it's like on feet. Now, the thing that I love the most about this sneaker is while it is simply white, there are two things that make it a little bit better. Number one, it's the different shades of white. And I talked about that during my unboxing of this sneaker. You have a cream white over here. You have a grayish white over here. The leather part over here is some sort of different white again. So it is different shades of white. But the problem with that is you only actually get to appreciate it if you look at it up close. So that's the issue with that one. But anyway, I, I still like that attention to detail. And speaking of the detail, which leads me to the second thing that I absolutely love about the Yeezy 700 V1 analog, is really the amount of textures and materials that they use to build the shoe which is something that we got with the original Wave Runner. You have that mesh material, you have the suede, you have the leather in the paneling here along the laces, you have the reflected material, those two dots along the lateral and the medial side. You have the boost encased in that midsole. You have that black rubber outsole, everything all of the different materials combined really gives it depth really makes it multi-dimensional really doesn't make it a boring shoe despite it being just all white so should you buy the easy 700 analog now at 16,000 pesos or 300 dollars it is not an easy to recommend shoe because it is pricey and I'm, I'm having serious doubts as to the resale value of this pair and I have a strong feeling that given time, give it like a few months, you might be even to cop one below retail but again that really depends on the market. I do not pretend to be like the market expert who can foresee the value of a sneaker. If I did that I would be really rich but, <laughs> but you guys get the point but if you are willing to take that risk, if you are willing to take that gamble, you can probably hold off for now wait a few months and see if the prices go down who knows 
who knows, you might be able to buy this for under 16,000 pesos or under $300 if you find the right buyer, if you find the right seller who wants to let go of their sneakers. I was able to cop this sneaker from our good friend Soul Academy. Please do check them out. They are a multi-brand sneaker store here in the Philippines. They have a website as well where they sell their products. I will put the link down below to the sneak to the sneaker account, to the website of Soul Academy as well as their Instagram account down in the description box as well as in the comment section. So guys, make sure you check them out. If you are going to buy sneakers, you might want to buy from Soul Academy. Lastly, I just want to remind all of you that Rose Gold and Black, our sponsor for this vlog, who has supported this vlog for such a long time now, is nearing the end of their 40% sale exclusive to you guys. So if you have been thinking of buying like bracelets like this one, necklaces with the grenade or necklaces with the one winged angel, like what I unboxed in my recent triple unboxing video or all of the other great accessories that they have. Guys, we have 40% off and it's only until the end of this month, end of April. So if you've been on the fence and you've been wanting to buy, now is the best time to do so. If you are going to buy an accessory, please do support the brands that support this channel because it allows me to keep on churning content at the level that I am right now for you guys. And with that said, that wraps up our vlog for today. I hope you guys are having an excellent weekend. I hope that you guys had a wonderful week before and I pray that you all have a blessed week ahead. That's it for me. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom. Boom.